fine. I'm out. Right? Not every black person does that. Yeah, not every black man does that. But it's happening a lot. We can see. So many children upon public assistance, we can tell that this is happening. Something or some type of variation of that conversation is happening out there. Right? They, meaning these bad boys and the homo thugs, always encourage you to lower your standards and prove that you want to help black people by taking on their bad boys baggage. So they hit you with this one. Hey man, you know, how come you don't date, you know, these sisters? How come you don't date black? Or how come you only date this or or not only date, but how come you date, you know, women of other races? You should be only dating black women. So they try to put a guilt trip on you because they need they need you black good black dude. They need you out here. Somebody's gotta take on this is so it's either they they got two options. The, 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 the sisters after they lose their desirability they got two options the white man or good black dudes when I say the white man I mean the system of uh, public assistance because that's the system that Lyndon B. Johnson set up to take the black man out of the house so either him or the good black dudes now the question is how do you get a person if uh, if black women don't want to settle how, how why is it that black men are good black men are always asked to settle for women that are not at the level at the level of desirability they are seeking that doesn't to me doesn't make any sense and i'm not pushing interracial relationships i just understand the dynamics that create the situation that promotes it and a lot of this is what this is these are a lot of dynamics right here that, that promote interracial relationships but nobody wants to address that they just call you a bad person because you you date somebody of another race and they're not they're not looking at they're not investigating in and breaking down why it happens they're not doing that and that to me is unfortunate man we can't get nowhere we can't solve that problem until we break that down and see where we're going wrong right and then we can start breaking that down so that our brothers don't have to go nowhere they can stay right here at home and find a beautiful woman a good woman for them right without having feeling like they gotta settle for the reject of you know dudes with gang it is what it is anyway by taking on bad boys baggage their their extra children their the children that they're not taking care of and the women that they have uh, emotionally de destroyed by taking this baggage on this frees up the bad boys so black man, good black man you got a purpose your purpose is to help f free the the, the the bad boys of this crap that they done dropped on these sisters and the children that they got that they're not taking care of that, that frees you up that frees them up to go find another desirable black woman to use and abuse until her desirability is used up and he doesn't want her anymore and the cycle continues yeah the cycle continues man and when he use her up he go find another one with her desirability intact and then he use her up and then he go find another one and drop that and all the while they dropping these they pushing these uh women that are with the desirability used up out into the out into the world out into the dating pool so now black women with their desirability at a low level are piling up they looking for good black dudes to come in and mow that down so now what's expected of you good black man is to go and sift through the pile of undesirable black women and find somebody out there and try to get and try to pull them in right <laughs> that's your function and I'm saying to you I'm saying to us that you know, if you're a good black dude, I'm saying, there's, you going to have to find your own way. I'm saying, try a little harder to find good black women. You know, you're probably not going to find good black women at the bar or at the club or at a rap concert. you you you're just probably not going to find them there. They're probably not going to be there. So, there's going to be other ways. I'm going to come up with videos or other ways where you can look for good black women. I mean, good black women good black women I, mean, I can't guarantee you every black woman is gonna be have no problems but this is America everybody's got problems there ain't nobody 
that's in America, that's living in America, born in America, that doesn't have some type of psychological issue. Some just some of us are better at covering it up than others. But everybody's got some type of issue. So I can't say you gonna find a woman and she ain't gonna have no problems. No, what I can say is you got a only thing I can say is you got a better chance of finding more desirable women where you depending on where you go to find them. That makes sense, right? Okay, but that's another video. Let's move on. Why then, if bad boys get all the women to dump them, dump them? Why try to be a good black man? We're going to answer that question later. The good black man, a thankless job. This is brother trying to be there for his family, right? What are the rewards of trying to be a good black man? Everyone hates you, even good, even black people, man. They hate you because they want to be able to tell you what to do. If you're supposed to be a good dude, they're supposed to tell you what you can spend your money on, who you can vote for, what you can do. They're supposed to be able to tell you whatever they want to tell you, and you ain't supposed to be able to do or say nothing about it. And that's the problem. That is the major issue. You supposed to? They supposed to? You know, Negroes to spend your money. You work where? Oh, you got money? Give me you. Okay, you got money. So they spend your money. They tell you where to go. They tell you. They tell you what kind of woman you can have. Everybody. Will. Nobody likes good black men. Nobody. Nobody likes good black women. You see a black woman. She trying to, you know, present herself as a woman of virtue, a woman of of uh, virtue, and trying to do the right thing. People hate black women like that, man. They hate them. Right. She trying not to be out there, you know, all flashy and everything. She just try to dress appropriate, trying to be a nice person. She can, you know, dress how she want to dress when she with her man. But she, if she ain't with that man, she's dressing, you know, appropriately as not to mislead anyone as to thinking that she's looking for the attention of strange men. Right? People hate black women like that, man. They hate them. Just like they hate good black dudes. When I say good, of course, I mean trying to be good. Trying to do good works for our people. I ain't saying they perfect and they make no mistakes. Just people that's trying to do good work. They, they, people hate good black men. You try to be a black dude, trying to open doors. Black, typically black women hate that. Typically, good, desirable black women do not like you to be respectful. Think of them in a respectful manner. Treat them nice. They just do not like that. I don't know. I do. I don't know a specific reason why. I know a lot of things why they have emotional problems. A lot of them, but because and like I said, we don't want to discount that. A lot of them have been abused in some manner. Have been, you know, uh, some type of sexual abuse have happened to them, and so they're not gonna tell you that up front. Many women ain't gonna say nothing to you about that. They just gonna be crazy like this, and they're not crazy for no reason. Things have happened to them. You and me as a man, we got to understand this when we coming into uh, try to be a relationship with these with, with, with black women. You got to understand a lot of them, uh, three out of four of them been, been sexually uh, uh, assaulted in some type of fashion. So we, we got to understand that. So they are going to act the way they're acting because something has happened to them. Now it's up to you to decide, okay, this person's mind is so toe up, I can't this person need counseling or if you're going to try to be in a relationship with them you know better you know wear you know rubber gloves you know because something may happen anyway everyone will hate you so right off the bat you got everybody against you because nobody likes good black men good black men are just like hated nobody wants to deal with you and you're supposed to do whatever every other you know everybody's supposed to push push their little mess on you and you're supposed to just take it. You get no thank yous. Nobody thanks you. Nobody says thank you. The, the media doesn't thank you. Uh, most people don't, most places don't thank you. Every once in a while they have a Father's Day thing. But good black men, it's just a thankless job. Nobody wants to, nobody says thank you for that. You opening doors, you trying to help, you, you help people, you give money. Nobody don't, nothing. Of course, you as a good black dude, you ain't doing it for that. But, to, you certainly ain't doing it so you could be disrespected but you know it is what it is that's what our people are at that point 
our people are at that kind of understanding so they're going to disrespect the people that's trying to help them it is what it is man they don't they have no respect they don't respect the fact that you're trying to be with your family as a matter of fact as a matter of fact america is set up so that the black man doesn't be with his family to push the black man out push the black man out bring the bring the no good black man into the and keep him circling around we, we going around bouncing around fighting baby after baby which is a, another prison uh person so they need a good black man just like in slavery they have a buck going around having babies and then they take them okay well they got a system set up for that these bad boy bucks go around create children that and not being it not trying to take care of them the public assistant steps in and uh, pays finds the black woman housing food uh, you know everything she needs a stipend everything she needs to keep going another 29 days to keep that to to um to, to maybe grow these children up to about 10 or 12 and when they start getting into some real serious crime and then they can go into the prison system that's what this is all about you don't they don't want you in the house black man nobody wants you in the house not desirable black women don't want you in the house and of course American society don't want you in the house because if you come into the house and you start straightening out these problems TV shows like um uh, love and hip hop will go away because those kind of dysfunctional people won't exist no more because black man's in the house uh, TV shows are stories so those dysfunctional little these little things where they have a window into the, the craziness or dysfunction of black people will go away and a lot of money is going to be lost you ain't going to buy the things you buy so they can you know every nobody wants to see you with your family it is what it is man we fighting a, a, a tough battle here. We fighting a tough battle. Even from the inside. Black people, even from the inside. Because people are jealous of you. That you're trying to take care of your other men and be jealous of you. They call you they call you a simp for taking care of your family. They call you a simp for taking care of your woman. They hate you, brother. But you got to understand you got a bigger responsibility than listening to some other dude that ain't taking care of none of his children calling you a simp. His children don't even live with him. He, who can't take their child on a on a weekend? Yeah, <laughs> you know, that, that, who can't visit their child on a weekend? You ain't doing a day to day, but you talking about another man calling him a simp? Okay. Anyway, bad boy rejects pushed up. So now, now they so these bad boys, they want to get at the all the desire for black women, but they can't do it with they got when they, when these when these undesirable women start piling up the undesirable women that they kick to the curb start piling up guess who they need like a trash man a trash truck driver to come through and pick up all these undesirable black women they need you a good black dude that says oh wow you know I'm so you supposed to be sitting on the curb so happy waiting for them to take their trash out as soon as they as soon as they had as soon as they take the trash out and they have a sister sitting in the trash can you're supposed to run up there like like those like those people that go through people's trash can you're supposed to be going through the trash and saying oh wow he threw this sister away and both her children oh man I got a good thing here oh man all these emotional problems too on all these financial problems oh man it's great see that's that's how you're supposed to be so they put a guilt trip going you going to other races for women you call yourself a black man you ain't even a black man they don't address the situation see brother i i want black people to be together that's like it's like everybody else but i'm willing to take a look at the hard look at the situation and why it's like that and let's start addressing it so we will be together black men gonna continue to do interracial dating because they all good especially good black men are gonna continue to do interracial dating because they are that's the best option for them finding desirable women that's where they're gonna go point blank period point blank all these guilt trips that y'all land people try to lay on y'all they can do all of that because you know that ain't gonna it just ain't gonna work until it's finally get a situation where black men don't have to go there to get to some good black dudes don't have to leave the black community to, to be with desirable black women when we get that situation straight that's when that'll cut that will shut down interracial dating 
not shut it down, but at least take a humongous chunk out of it. That would take a humongous chunk out of it. But we're not gonna get there unless we address these issues that I'm that we're trying to address here. No desirable black women. I mean, desirable black women see you, Charlie Dude, and they're like, man, ugh. You open the door for me again? Ugh. Ugh. They just they just look at you and they go, ugh. You know what I mean? You just like a turn off to them, right? So you don't get no desirable black women. You get undesirable black women, just black women that have been used and abused and put through the ringer, plus given children uh, that uh, abandoned children now those women are looking for you them and all their financial emotional and uh, other problems are they waiting for you to come and pick them scoop them up so you're supposed to be like at a landfill going through all of these undesirable black women right nobody's teaching the black women who desirability is low how to revamp up their desirability and nobody's teaching desirable black women hey open your mind to date other you know lots of different guys not lots but uh, more than just these bad boy types of dudes because what's going to happen is the bad boy's going to use you up bring down your desirability drop off babies abandon those babies on you and then once you you ain't the same person no more he going to kick you to the curb you and those babies he had he gave you he going to kick all y'all to the curb and go get a new one that's what's gonna happen so I'm saying let's fix that problem let's get desirable black women to open their minds to dating you know good black dudes because good black dudes I'm telling you are not gonna wait around until you get undesirable if, if I'm trying to date you and you 20 and then I wait till you and then 30 when you 30 you look me up on Facebook you got two babies by some other dude you got financial problems and you're a mess. The only thing you got to offer right now is, you know, you could throw a tight dress on. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. And that's the situation. But we ain't addressing it. We ain't addressing this situation. We out here saying that black men just don't want to date black women. That's not the case. They're not th- they're not plugging in the desirability of the woman into this situation. They're not doing that. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but people that pundits or people that's talking about this issue are not plugging that in. Anyway, no kudos from the entertainment industry. Of course, the entertainment industry, they hate to see good acting black people. You don't see shows anymore on TV with black people that have some type of sense. You think back to any show that you have that have black people on it, typically they don't have no sense. You know, And more and more shows like that are coming out. You know, I mean, pretty soon they just gonna have, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I thought the real world was, I mean, but, you know, I mean, they gonna have, they, they just gonna have, you know, they got prison shows, they got everything, I mean, they got everything with you in it, and it just shows how far you have, you and me, and we have fallen down, how we have fallen, and those of us that are attempting to get back up, they hate us, man. Because they know that we going to try to, if we try to, if we good black dudes try to put a good, try to get black people back on the right track and, and create a good black society, they know the hoes are going to dry up. They know the boss bitches are going to dry up. They know the bisexual bad boys are going to dry up. They know that the pedophiles are going to dry up. They know all of these things are going to dry up. And that's not the goal of America. Because they're making a lot of money off of us going to prison, which is the number one thing. That's they want us to go to prison, and you know we got to see this and do something about it. All of these other things are just cogs in the wheel for us to go to prison. Us meaning black men to go to prison, so that we can work for for major corporations, so that they can save money, so they can save labor costs by and labor and healthcare costs. By having the state pay delay the health costs. Anyway, no kudos from the entertainment industry. You'll never see the entertainment industry saying, I'm living. you'll never see somebody come out on stage at the Emmys or the Oscars or the 
what what did black what did they give black people was it Oscars or Emmys or they never come up and say hey I just want to thank this man hey man he, he, this man is you know he is a good black man he did me right he did good you know he did right by me I ain't saying he perfect but he did right by me and he helped me get to this point I just want to thank you ain't never gonna see that you ain't never gonna see that you ain't never gonna see that and uh, you know I mean, I'm not waiting for it. I mean, I'm just saying, you're not going to see that. Some of our people, they think that stuff only makes sense when the entertainment industry say something about it. But it's not the case. Anyway, don't work, Don't wait for the entertainment industry to thank you, good black man, for trying to help our community. Nobody wants to see the black community doing good. And the good black man is the one, is the cog in the wheel, is the ignition on the gas Why a pedal of us trying to do right is the good black man and they do not want to see you they hate you you talk like you got sense you not a fratter you not all emotional you not just you know niggas are predictable you know what I mean niggas they predictable you do something make them mad they gonna usually be violent I mean they pretty predictable they democrat I mean they pretty predictable so you can kind of predict what you're gonna do and you can kind of corner them and set them up in situations it's like you know America sets up you know uh, black, uh, sets our brothers up in a lot of different situations because they're so predictable, man. You know what I mean? They handle situations pretty much the same way. I don't care if they're from Virginia or they're from California. Niggas are pretty much the same. You know, pretty emotional people. And so, good black dudes are not trying to run off of emotion. They're trying to run off of information. And so, valid information. So, that's the pro That's the difference. And that's the problem for people in power. They don't want you making informed decisions. They made the decisions for you already, and you're supposed to just follow that follow the path. Same thing with the black community. They expect you, good black man. This, this, we are. They already made the decision. You gonna have to pick up some of these, um, a lot of these uh, undesirable black women. You, that's just what you was expected to do. So the good black man, most of them now are saying no. They done did a left turn and said, nah. If I gotta do interracial dating to find somebody that I feel is desirable then that's what I'm going to do. And so this phenomenon is out there. Anyway, got to wrap this up. And last, you, you're here to be taken advantage of. Good, you know, typical black woman in a, um, in a desirable state. See a good black dude. He got a little job, got a little money, got a little car. First thing she's doing is trying to just extract everything from this man that she can. Money, time, or valuables, anything she can extract from the man, she's trying to extract from the man, right? That's typical. That's normal. So you in a you in a, and I'm not saying now that right there, that part right there, that's something you got to watch out for. All women. I ain't gonna. I'm not even gonna leave that on just just uh, uh, desirable black women. You got to watch out that for every woman. All kind of all desi- all kind of desirable women. You got to watch out for that. But you just more subject to be taken advantage of if you're a good dude, period. But especially if you're a good black man. Right? So why be good? Why should, what's the point of it, man? I mean, you know, if you're not going to get no women, you ain't getting no respect, you get no thank you, you you get the worst women of our women, you get the worst of the black women out there, you get, um, you know, no kudos, nobody says thank you for doing anything, and you're going to get taken advantage of, why should you be a good black man? Why, should, why do it? Because it's a small sacrifice to help our community start to produce real men to solve our problems. You know what? Somebody, somebody has got to take the first arrow. Somebody's got to step out there. Some, and so, good black man, you the, you the one. You're going to have to help us get our community straight. The black woman, why would the black woman try to get the black community straight? The black woman gets money from the white man. Either she get, either he'll hire her if her butt is big enough, or he gives her public assistance. He gives her food for her babies. He gives her stipends. He he even give her he'll even put her in a job market. What you get, black man? Hmm. You're not getting that kind of love. You're not getting that kind of love. So, but we have a duty to our people, man. And our people, our people need our help. 
and we're gonna we're gonna have to make a sacrifice to to to, to get our community back going. If if we really serious about. things for us actually I'm gonna actually do five things for us Number one rate this video give us a rating let us know if you like what you what, what we're trying to do tell us what you think and what we can do to improve to make the people get better because that's the ultimate goal is to get these men and women to stop going to prison and start building better black families and better black people so we can all be better people on this planet next give us your comment you know tell us what you think uh, and what we can do to improve to help the people get better like I said that's the ultimate goal if you like if you think what we say makes sense talk about it and leave us a comment we appreciate that and that'll get the ball rolling and then we'll start talking about some of these tough issues and maybe we can do something about them next thing is to like this video if you like what was said or something we're doing we would like to know that you support us we're not asking for donations just the push of a button that's all we ask for a few clicks of the button a few clicks of the mouse screen the mouse uh oh mouse a few clicks of the mouse and then um you know we will they show us that you support what we're doing uh share this video next thing is to share this video share this video in your sh social network if you like what was said or something we're doing please share this video on your in your social media network and talk about it with your friends if you think people if you think people need to hear this message then please share it as much as possible thanks for your support yeah just share as much as possible with this video with you might have a nephew or cousin that needs to hear this kind of thing or it might have people in your own network that need to hear this just on your social network just please share it as much as possible and the last thing is remember we have the Urban Male Life Skills Boot Camps. That's our flagship program. We have other things. We have the home study course. We have the uh, worksheets and workbooks. But this is the flagship program to help our people try to get better so that we can stop having these young men and women go to prisons, particularly the men, because once we get the men, then I believe that the women will follow. So once, once we get them to stop going to prisons, then we, the women will follow. And then it will bring our, our community closer together and we can stop pitiful condition we're in and start standing up and uh, doing some things to help our people get employed and have better lifestyles so anyway uh, those are the things that we need you to do we, we ask you to do please help us in this cause thanks a lot